Well, a mighty fine Tuesday afternoon to you all. Just on my way back up to the tractor, we're just now cleaning the barn. And I'll be taking this load of manure up to the east field in the snow, praying we get up the hill. This is the door handle that my dad made because the other one broke off. It's very clever, actually. I'd just like to inform you that I just put in the order to get our 2022 calendars printed. If you are interested in purchasing one, you can definitely email us at the link that I'm putting on the screen right now, and then we can negotiate the payment and the shipping and all that fun stuff. Usually, East Field is one of the most difficult fields to haul manure on in the winter because it's such a steep incline up to the top. So I'm trying to get it all done before we get loads and loads and loads of snow. So I hopefully don't have those just those issues. I have only a few more loads to go up there. And then here's the new addition to the shop that Dad has been building. I don't know if anybody's seen that yet. But he just took a bunch of lumber that he's cut up and some steel that we were given and then he put up a addition to the shop right off the back on the east wall. Explain to the fine friends all over the world who take the time to watch this YouTube channel what that really is. What's that? Speak, speak up, boy, so they can hear you. Speak up. Post dip. What is post dip? You dip them. Do we post dip our fence milk. posts in it. No. You put, you dip them. Wait, wait, Lydia, Lydia milk. knows what she's talking about. <laughs> move away, boy, move away. Let Lydia explain what it post dip is. Seals up the end of the sheet so that they don't get infections. Correct. 
post it pretty much is to protect the ends of the teat until the teat naturally closes up on its own. Because say if you had a cow who just got milk, her teat end is open and if she were to lie down there's the possibility of her picking up bacteria and it entering her udder and her possibly getting an infection. So pull stip is just to hopefully prevent any of that from happening to give the body a chance to naturally close into the teeth. Pretty that correct? Good. <laughs> well, that's pretty good. It's got a little bit of a germicide on it and uh, also forms a solid film around that teeth to block out bacteria. Uh, film doesn't last terribly long and whatever is left gets washed off her teeth next milking and we start the process all over again. Pretty proud that she knew that. But Lydia's smart. Don't expect Wilson to know that, but Wilson knows other stuff, I'm sure. Ask Wilson another question, see if he knows it. Wilson! What? Come here. Explain the difference between a two-stroke and a four-stroke engine. Um, it, uh, let's see here. Two-stroke, every time it hits stop dead center, it fires, correct? Well, that'd be the same with four-stroke. Oh, no, one. But then four-stroke four stroke has an exhaust. It has an exhaust. He does know what he's talking about. He just needs practice explaining it. Right. Why did that question come up? You'll find out when you watch later. Oh. For any of you who've been watching the channel for a number of years, you might recognize this cow. Her name is Lois, or we call her Mum. If I was trying to make money off of her, she would have been gone four years ago. That she's sticking around the farm because she deserves a dignified retirement. She's been a good cow for us. Is still milking after not having a calf for two or three years. And she's not had a calf just because we have not bred her back. She's old, a little bit broken down in the rear end. But she's a tough old bird, keeps fighting probably about 14 or 15 years old now. So we're letting her live out her years here. Eventually she's just going to kick off, I would imagine. But I'm not going to send her off. Oh, hey, make sure you point out to everybody that I'm no longer wearing my flip-flops in the barn. I know some people were concerned about that. So this is how Casey Neistat does it, huh? Wait, I forgot where my boosted board is. What's up, guys? Welcome to the video. Today we got this 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 new thing. Uh, we're gonna. How does Casey and I fit thirty today? Come on. Man. Well, today we're dropping some new calendars. Limited edition, 2022 calendars, only available this year. Um, so get them soon before they uh expire. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay. Currently feeding five calves. Three bulls, two heifers. We have the bulls currently listed for sale on Craigslist. Actually have a call or two that I have to return, so we may have sold them. Have you introduced them to the new moms? One of them's Daisy, the Ayrshire, the other ones are Jerseys. I don't really know who they are. If you're interested, you'd have to ask Lydia. George's job is to feed the calves. I'm sure right now George is in the barn playing with the cat. Or challenging Lydia to see how high he can jump touch the ceiling. It has been a while before, since we've had any uh, back to back to back to back YouTube videos like what usually happens on the successful channels used to happen here but all of a sudden everybody's gotten so busy the last almost the last thing anybody thinks about is grabbing a camera and filming something because they've all got something more That's important right. to do so I thought and Hank thought it'd be a good idea too just for every one of us to give a little update about what's been going on since maybe October so Hank can go first I've been working I've had school had just work around here that's keeping me busy but I also was working a lot in November on that combine film that I just posted a few weeks ago that was, that was keeping me busy for a while uh, I need to know how many bottles are warming up. Five? Five. Okay. Yes. Uh, a bit of shut off. What? It says recording. Oh, are you just trying to focus? Yeah. You could probably tap on my face, that might work. If you tap on the screen on my face, would that change something? Mm. Does it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I was working on that combine film, like, over November, October, early December, and then I just posted that probably a couple of weeks ago already. And then yeah, work and school is keeping me busy. So that's about it. And winter, winter makes me do more work. Yeah, winter makes everybody do more work. I have to clean the barn every day. So yeah. All right. Well, we'll see what everybody else has been up to. Oh, come on, little girl. This is Lydia. She is... She's Lydia. Second oldest child. A year younger than Hank. We're letting the folks know what we've been up to in the last three, four, five, six months since not much has been posted on YouTube. So would you like to give us an insight into how your life has gone? Uh, pretty good. I learned how to hatch chicks from my own chickens. Um, I was provided with a rooster this year, so that was pretty cool. And um, I was able to hatch some eggs with a Nurture Right 360 incubator that I bought at, Trax at Tractor Supply Company. So they hatched the beginning of October. Ended up being five cockerels and five pullets. So they're about 12, almost 13 weeks old now. So that's pretty cool. And the roosters are just starting to learn how to crow. A couple of them, yeah. One of them has it down pretty well. The other one, not so much. Now Lydia, you're breeding chickens because you want to become a world famous chicken breeder? Going to all the national yes. shows and winning every prize? I mean, prize. I, want, I want to... Well, I hope to show at the fair this year, and then I think it would be cool someday. Obviously, this would be years in the future. I don't have any, like, really good quality birds right now, but um, I think it would be cool at some point to be able to go visit, maybe even take a couple birds down to the Ohio Nationals, which is a really big poultry show. But um, I, I want to go visit that show and see that show sometime. I think that would be really cool. So Lydia's job around here, for which she's being weekly paid. Chicken feed. 
<laughs> is is mostly our herd manager. Takes care of the calves, the heifers. Not so much the cows, but she milks the cows. Um, certainly the breeding aspect of it. She doesn't actually do the breeding, but she uh, keeps track of it. Um, she does school at home. You are in what grade? Tenth. Tenth grade. <laughs> um, she does relief work at uh, at least one other dairy farm in the area. She would love to do more. <laughs> well, I guess worries. she wouldn't. <laughs> She's pretty busy here. One's actually. enough. <laughs> She's pretty busy here. Um, but you've done singing at church for all the Christmas programs, singing in the she homeschools, but she participates in our church's Christian school music program. Uh, mostly because her mother is the director. Yeah. <laughs> I saw that little boy George come through here. George, I wonder if you could come over and favor us with an interview quickly. I know you're so busy work. George is working so hard all the time, he hardly ever has a chance to be pulled away from his work so we can talk to him. But George, come over here, would you, and talk to us, please? Well, he's at school during... Well, I was about to explain that. Wilson and Lydia and Hank are homeschooled. They do school at home. George actually does attend school over at our church's Christian school. Wow. Why is it, George, that you decided to leave home and go to school? Because uh, I wanted to pursue an educator. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I like to socialize. George, George loves people. He needs to be your own people. George loves schedule. He needs a schedule. He uh, is doing very well at school. As long as he does better than all the girls in the school, that's fine by me. All right, um, so what else have you been keeping busy with, George? He played soccer. The soccer team did amazingly well. Uh, yes, <laughs> yeah. uh, there was this one game that they won, and <laughs> they scored way more points than the other team. That was a fun one to be yes. at. Now George is I playing basketball. Sure. haven't played too He's many games lying. yet. How's the basketball season going, George? Uh, I mean... you got to remind me because I really don't know. We've I'm played asking. five games. Really? You've yeah. played five games already? We're about to play Still one on Thursday. Won as many as the soccer team. How many we games have you won? Uh, zero. We've, oh, come, we've come very close yet. on most of our games, except for one where we played Maranatha Baptist Academy. You know, little academy kids. You know, uh, we lost when we got wrecked. I think it was like 53 to 7. It was, it was, was it really? It was really bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, that's Oh, they were that's talking in Sunday school. There's the girls basketball team, and they've won some of their games. Yeah, so they were saying that, like, the guys could play the girls. And, you know, pretty much, in my view, it would look bad either way. Either they'd have to play the girls to actually win, or they'd lose to the girls, and that See, would look that bad. It may too. not be the we best. Not idea. Lose to the girls. No way. That's All right, George. Mean. So, what is it, what are your life goals right now? Where you stand? George wants to go. To, he wants to travel the world. Mm -hmm. He wants to land up in Japan, being a chef, of all things. Go figure. But that's that's our George. That's after I travel. Craig and I, my cousin, are going to uh -oh. travel for U.S. Then we're going to go to Hawaii, and then Germany, then Russia, then we're going to go to Asia. Are you and Craig going to get along? I wanted to go to I wanted to go to Asia first, but no, Craig wants to go to Europe. And I, you know, I enjoy Europe. So yeah. Go to Africa. George, what jobs do you do around the farm here? Well, technically, to like I explained to the success. camera earlier, I feed hay, and without hay. No milk. Without milk, no farm. So technically, I I keep this farm together. Am I right, guys? George is the man. And like I told him, if he didn't feed A, somebody else would. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and we know who that. Where is that kid? Let's find the kid uh, who yeah, would like feed A. Except he did it this morning. Yeah. He George this morning. and me. Hey, Wilson, would you, would you come on. talk to us for a minute? We're just doing an update for everybody who may still be watching the channel on what we've all been doing for the past three, four, five months. Lydia and George have offered their 
their report. Would you come and tell us what you're up to? Yeah. Wilson, like I mentioned, is also homeschooled. What grade are you in? Seventh. Seventh grade. What are your interests? What was the last grade you finished? Goodness. <laughs> we all go there. Yeah. Wilson, Wilson is like one of our best students. He's been in the seventh grade now for six years. <laughs> <laughs> One of the most dedicated students I've ever known. Alright, so what are your interests outside of school? What are your interests in school? History. Not Wilson school. loves history. Well, yeah, history. What are you working on right now? In history? Wow. It's kind of like between Civil War and World War II. So, I mean World War One. It's like... When you get done with school, what do you work on? Well, recently I've been working on my model before and after school. Your model of what? P-51D Mustang. Yeah, Wilson's into warbirds. Now, when you get done with the P-51, what do you have to build? A B-17G and an F4U Corsair, but yeah. I'm probably going to do the Corsair first. All right. So when you're not modeling inside, what do you do outside? All sorts of different things. So let me tell you the story of this. Thing. What were you? What were you all upset about just yesterday? Was it yesterday Sunday? He broke his snowmobile. He broke his snowmobile. I didn't break it. It just. <laughs> Wilson. <laughs> Wilson has been given a, a what? A 1995 Arctic Cat. 550. Cougar 550. Cougar. Not running, but it wasn't. I mean, it, all it needed was little maintenance, and he got it running was riding it around. First thing that happened is he broke the steering tie rod. Steering tie tie rod. rod. Obtained a new one of those, we put that in. Uh, and then what happened? Friday. And then, Sunday I went out and, first of all, my my uh, vacuum line came off a fuel pump. That was no big deal, it just had to get primed again. Then all of a sudden my left carburetor isn't getting any fuel, so. Look out, you're gonna get your foot washed. No, <laughs> literally. Yes, Wilson my foot. needs new boots. Well, I guess my other boot is also falling apart. Why don't you already get this? Did you, uh, because the string this uh, calendar is yet, but. Yes, the, yes, I did. The 2022 only calendar right, is only available this year for a limited out time. Time right to plug Hank's merch. <laughs> Hey, how come Lydia's doing George's job? Uh, George Wilson, is you doing can do Wilson's job. No, you can continue. No, I'm George not. is doing George's job. No, George is doing George's well, job. I did my job. It's you, also your job. You all may think that job. this family has four of the world's most perfect children. Yes. It's not true. No, it's but in true. Fact, I just there is wish only I had time to run and grab the camera there is when, only when they're one. all fighting about who's yeah. going to do what and when and how and why. This is Fink. We need, may we have a moment of your time? Well, since you've asked on camera... <laughs> uh, we're doing a little update as to what everyone in this family has been busy with for the last three or four or five months. George and Lydia and Wilson gave stellar reports. So now it's your turn. Well, Monday through Friday, I wake up and milk cows, and then I go to work at NASCO in Fort Atkinson. Um, usually spending my time fulfilling orders for NASCO Farm and Ranch. So if any of you folks out there order from NASCO Farm and Ranch, there's a I actually fulfilled your order for you. Uh, I enjoy my work though, running around the warehouse for four hours a day. Um, yeah, so if you've ordered from any farm items from NASCO and you see the little sticker on there that ends in a 2-5, then you know I, I picked the order for you. Hopefully there were no mistakes. Um, you don't make a lot of mistakes, though, keep, so right. What? You don't make a lot of mistakes, though, so. No, not generally I don't make a lot of mistakes, but it has been known to happen. Um, Alright, so you keep, get up, 
you do all the work here. You get to work at NASCO by 7.30. We work, Hank and I work a 7.30 to 11.30 shift. So you get home about noon, yep. cook everybody lunch, and then what do you do? Well, what I was busy with for a few weeks before Christmas, up to Christmas, um, working on Christmas cookies for customers, most of Roll my... Roll back up. She maintains a home bakery, Nuts and Bolts Bakery. Is there a web? Is there a YouTube channel? Yes. For Nuts and Bolts? Has a, has a couple of videos on it. It's linked through uh, through this channel. Yeah, we really have more. She on. is much busier than what the YouTube channel. Well, would at Christmas at Christmas time. Christmas time is the heaviest time. Otherwise, it's fairly spotty throughout the year. You know, I, I have a couple customers that are friends through NASCO, really. That's really where most of my customer base is, people that I know through NASCO. So they, I have a couple of customers that order more, more than just at Christmas time, let's put it that way. Um, but Christmas was pretty busy doing a lot of cookies for people. In fact, in the morning before she even got up at 5 o'clock at 4.30 to come out here and do work, she was getting up at 3.30 to do an hour or hour and a half of baking first. And then she'd come out and milk the cows and go to mass and work, come home and do more baking and do more milking at night. And then more baking well into the night before she went to bed. Oh yes, and then I was telling the fine folks that you also do the music at the school. Uh, and well, no. No. I, I do only the junior senior high choir. Someone else does all of the elementary. Right, she does not direct the recorder choir. I do not do the elementary, just the 7th and 12th grade choir. And how did they do this year? Well, we had a Christmas concert. We had a Thanksgiving concert. Have a, we have a rather different situation for our school where we have more guys than girls and um, in, at that age level. So we have a, a very strong men's section. Um, so I'm trying to highlight that a little bit more with having them sing more as a group. Um, unfortunately, we're losing several seniors this year, including Hank. And uh, so we're, we're losing quite a bit of leadership, but I'm actually very thankful that Wilson has kicked in here at Christmas time, and I think he's going to soon become a leader um, in his section. Right now, he's singing alto, actually, for me um, when it's SATV, but. When the men sing, he's, he's first tenor. And every time George Kidney punches him, he can sing soprano. Well, Hank could sing soprano if he wants to uh, sing in his falsetto all the time. There are several guys at school that like to sing soprano every once in a while. shut the fans off so no one freezes. Shut the aisle lights off. The major lights are on a timer. They'll go off on their own eventually. Grab my coat because it's cold outside. And we'll say goodnight to the cows. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.